All right, so screams well like shit, but um, that's irrelevant because um, many times screams go well and then we shit the bed is normal. And um, as you guys know, many, many teams just have shitty screams and play well in the weekend. Like, it's just completely irrelevant. And the good thing is that you got, I guess, some stuff from the screams, some mistakes that you commit or some, you know, or maybe you just realize that you're mental blocked at the moment, right? But you still have one day left of the screams and it's against Fnatic, right? So it's a good thing. And everything is about momentum, actually. And many teams are pretty good right now. You have Vitality really good, Fnatic really good. I guess Schalke's play can also be really good, but the truth is that we're not much worse than them. That's factual, right? Like nothing has changed from one day to another that made us much worse, right? Screams have been going poorly. And if you look at why, you're like, fuck, we, we, we just suck, right? But the truth is that you don't suck. And at the end of the day, it comes down to that. It comes down to understanding that there's no, um, there's no big difference between the big teams, between the, the best teams. That's undeniable, right? I guess you can say, yeah, Vitality is playing better, or Fnatic, whatever, or consistency, whatever you want to say. But ultimately, when it comes down to crunch time, which is right now, best of five, there's, I guess, three teams that are top. And there's no team like far better than, than anybody else within those three teams. And you're part of those three teams. Like, we agree on that? Okay, okay, okay. It, it, no, that, that's definitely a no. And, and, and that, that, that is a byproduct of the shitty screaming week we had. No, I mean, it makes sense, yeah. I mean, oh, for sure, like, nothing has changed since like two weeks ago that changed so much for the worst, you know? So we, are, we can still be good. Right now, we are in a bad, like, bad, bad run, but it's fine. So if I would have asked you two weeks ago the same question, you would have said yes. Yes, yeah. yes, see, 100%. And did the meta change too much? Did anything change way too much and in, the, in the game? No, yeah, no. Um, yeah, it depends. If you I mean, small. Uh, I'm discussing the overall <laughs> meta. Like, <laughs> did, did Peaks <laughs> meta in general change too much? It didn't, right? Yeah. Some things changed, but no, nothing out of the ordinary. It's not like all of a sudden <laughs> AD carries a solo carrying again or something like that. Like, the meta's <laughs> pretty much the same, right? The so, which means that. Whatever, if I would have made the question two weeks, two weeks ago and you would have been <laughs> clearly saying that, yes, you're a top three team, literally nothing in the game changed since then. Nothing in your lives changed since then. Since then. The only well, thing I that changed. more on bench now. You can what? I can lift more on bench. Well, there you go. <laughs> Something changed. There you go. <laughs> I want to ha, 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 how much do you bench right now? Well, I bench like when I do series and 70, but I can do like 80, like three, four times. So that's like kilograms, 80 kilograms. Yeah. Three, four uh, reps? No, like three, four times, like one, like one rep. Oh, yeah. one, one rep, okay, yeah, one rep, one rep. Yeah, do like five Fuck, reps. Fuck, this is Arnold. <laughs> Arnold, just fucking shit up. Um, so aside from the fact that he benches more than before, there has never, there has not been a huge change, right? I bench less than before. You bench less than before. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, everything comes down to momentum, right? That's so fucking clear. Now Vitality seems like they're the best team in the world uh, for some reason yeah, with Kikis. It's, it's all over the place. But uh, let's be let's be honest. Talking about how to play the game, talking about kind of everything that matters in making a team good. Did that really change that much from what they were before to what they are today? Probably not. It's just everything momentum, right? So the same way you had a shitty week, like a horrible, terrible, probably your worst week since you're together. And, and all of a sudden, right now, you have the next scream, scream block and things go well. And all of a sudden, the momentum is different, you know? And then you go to tomorrow with a different phase. So if there's one thing, and, and this is just from all the feedback I've, I've gotten from you and from also the um, grabs and from uh, Dathman, is that if there's one thing you should focus on is to uh, not fear. Like, it's, it's all about pressure, it's all about stress, it's all about fear, which means that you, in, the, in the moment of truth, when it really matters, all of you are not taking responsibility. In other words, you can say, I'm just gonna make a stupid example, right? But you can say, we can maybe do Baron, right? That means that you're having no balls when you're making that call, right? Um, or you can say, guys, uh, somebody says fight top, and then you say, don't fight top, they have Galio, blah, 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 right? Nobody's doing that. Maybe you Maybe you say, maybe it's a bad idea or whatever, you know, there's no full responsibility taken over uh, calls. And this is feedback that I got from everybody, right? Um, 
So if I would say one thing is just regardless on whether at the end of the day you're ending up being wrong, just take full responsibility over everything you say and do in the game. Every pick you make. Hey, is this hero good against that hero? Don't just say I guess or whatever. Just be pragmatic and to the point. I win early, I lose late, unless I play bad. I win, I, I, I lose early, I win, whatever, you know? I have lane control unless I play bad. Just take responsibility, you know? There's nothing wrong with losing lane. There's nothing wrong with doing a bad call. There's nothing wrong with doing a Baron, especially when it's a best of five, right? It's really nothing wrong. There's nothing wrong. It's not like a tiebreaker shit, no. It's just five, best of five, it's just too many games. Nothing bad can happen. So just remember that. There's only one thing you have to remember, only one. Whatever you do and say and pick and, and talk and do everything, just take responsibility, full responsibility, yourself. Somebody else fucked up, well, you take responsibility for not telling him in the pick and bam phase that he shouldn't pick that hero because you know it's wrong for this pick, for this lineup. Just everybody take responsibility for your own self, right? Don't feel emotional about anybody telling you this is wrong. Just focus on, on growth. Focus on just getting better as a team. This, you have... One day left, but it doesn't stop here. We will fucking go to Spain. Like, we have the fucking jerseys. It's for real. Like, we're going to Spain. You're, you're gonna go tomorrow, and you're gonna win, okay? So, it doesn't stop tomorrow. So, from now on, until, until world ends, just change your mindset, your mindset completely, okay? Your mindset now has to be full pragmatism, which means no emotions, zero emotions, and full responsibility over everything that happens in the game, full responsibility. Like, can we get on board with that at least? It's the only thing. And you know, anybody fucks up, it's totally fine. <laughs> and it's okay, you know, because at the end of the day, it's so easy to, if somebody makes a call, right, you, uh, you can react in many ways, right? Maybe your brain reacts subconsciously like, oh, he made a call, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna challenge it, right? Because you're thinking about fucking emotions, who cares? If you think the call is bad and you believe that you should say this, just say this, you know? And with big balls, maybe, no, no, no fucking maybe. Yeah. I think this is a bad idea. And if someone like counter, counter tells you it's not, then it's fine because you said your thing. And at the end of the day, you follow always the last call, right? That's what you guys do. And if that person takes responsibility, fucking don't do it. Done. One guy dies, two guys die, perfect. And maybe don't do battle. I don't know. A thousand different actions that can happen, but hope you understand it. You agree? Yeah. Yes. You guys agree? Yep. And that's it. Just, just do you. You guys are the best in your positions, or among the best in your positions. There's nothing to worry about. At least you're, all of you are top three or top two in your positions. That's undeniable. That's it. You fucking do your thing with confidence. Confidence, you know? All right? Yeah. Can we do the G2 fight and shit? Let's fucking do this. Yeah. <laughs> we'll do G2 fighting. Come on, brother. Yes, I'm in an awkward, yeah? Come on. Fucking go. Fucking go. I have to stand on this. Oh, I, I like it. I like I'm it. Wonder, no? Okay, ca can you come here, guys? <laughs> Cedric? Cedric as Come on, Cedric. Come on, Cedric. Oh, Cedric of course. Okay, so this, is, this doesn't end tomorrow. We're going to get to fucking Madrid. We're going to fuck shit up. We're going to get into Worlds. We're going to do very well and everything because we're going to take responsibility over everything we do. We have a deal? Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah, One, two, three. Get to fighting! <laughs>